Welcome to the Handy Hunter. Today we're going to be talking about 12 volt versus 6 volt setups for your feeders. One is better than the other, in my opinion. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome to the Handy Hunter. I'm about to show you something that makes me a really happy man. And it has to do with feeders, and you guys are going to know exactly what I'm talking about when you see this. All right, here we go. Here's my feeder. You can see it's got a solar panel on top, seven, seven watt solar panel. I got the Boss Buck 12 volt uh, feeders. Let me show you a very beautiful sight. Watch that screen. See that right there? 100% battery charge uh, all the time with solar power and a bigger battery. Upgraded from 6 volt to 12 volt makes a huge difference um, in uh, torque and uh, longevity of this entire system. I haven't touched anything on this system for a, a year. This system has been installed with the solar panel um, and the 12 volt battery. Uh, for a year now and I haven't done anything but put corn in here. So every time I show up to the farm uh, I come out here and there's corn on the ground. This thing works all the time. I've got three feeders like this and All three of them run a hundred percent battery charge all the time. So completely maintenance free for me other than um, Filling them up with corn. So one thing I before I went to 12 volt I debated this for a while I had uh, three six volt batteries and I always had trouble with them either a stalk in the corn and we clean our corn we filter it and all that but still just the smallest stalk would just clog the the uh, spinner up um, and I was always fighting uh, dead batteries even with solar panels on six volts so I want to show you the difference between uh, why there's really no comparison between a 12 volt and 6 volt battery so um, and motor here is uh, your motor for a 6 volt right this came out of the old ones and you see the motor size I don't know if you can see that but the motor right here and there that 12 volt motor is like five times the size of this little 6 volt uh, spinner um, so that is a ginormous motor. I was really surprised when I ordered these, how darn big that motor is. When you, when you test this thing, you really have to duck because this thing will shoot beads into your face. Uh, feels like getting hit with buckshot because it really slings them um, good. Um, here's the difference in the size and the batteries. This is, a, uh, this is a six volt battery, right, that I used. This is the 12 volt battery. So you can see it's at least double the size of uh, the battery. So again, I, I never, even if I didn't have solar panel on here, this thing would probably last months before it would go um, dead, depending on how many times a day you, you feed. Um, but I have, I have not had any, any issues with corn, uh, slinging corn and battery charging issues. And it's kind of nice because now I show up to the farm and I don't have any maintenance issues with, with feeders anymore. Um, and that is a beautiful thing that makes me extremely happy. So uh, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you're debating going from 6 volt to 12 volt, I would just tell you that my experience is I would do it again in a heartbeat. It was worth the money. I, I bought these Boss Buck boxes uh, online from Boss Buck. I've just bought some other things from them. It's been great products. Um, sorry, the gnats are really bad here today in Georgia. Um, I, I don't know anybody from here. I just know that uh, the products that I've bought, I've been real happy with them, but they just basically had the best price on the, uh, on the box. I think that was 79 bucks for this box with the motor. Um, didn't come with the battery but it did come with the programmer. So uh, it was a really good deal, I thought, compared to everything else I saw on the market. I'm sure there's some other good boxes. 
but I have three of these and I haven't had a problem. And the uh, program module is very easy uh, to program and that's important as well. So uh, it's, all, it's all set up, ready to go, real happy with the upgrade. It's been a year on the feeders now and I figured I'd wait for a while to uh, do a video on it just to make sure that I liked everything. Completely maintenance free, haven't had it, one issue. So I hope you find this uh, video helpful. If you uh, like these types of videos, please like and subscribe and uh, we'll, you'll uh, get the future ones that we're going to, be, to build. Take care.